Mr. Rattaglioni, I am the editor of the Rat Street Journal. Truth is the byword of my newspaper. Don't you mean my newspaper? And truth is for suckers. I'm sick of the bad press Ratco keeps getting. It's time the effect I've had on the world was recognized. What you need, Mr. Rattaglioni, sir, is a whole new image. What's wrong with my old one? Just because I cut down a few trees and wipe out a few dumb animals don't mean I'm a bad person, does it? You need some good publicity. How about a media event? A celebration of some kind, like a society wedding. You could marry an actress. <laughs> I could, yeah, but uh, Mrs. Rattaglione might have a little something to say about it. <laughs> Point taken. Pity, we at Squeak Magazine always generate masses of great publicity when we feature pictures of a wedding. How about a wedding anniversary? We don't celebrate them. At least not together. Well, um, what about the opening of that new cattle ranch of yours in Brazil? Ratlands? Great idea. But, Mr. Rattaglione, you've cut down acres of trees to make grazing land there, and our opinion polls show that there are grave misgivings at Ratco's deforestation program. Some people are so selfish. The world's gotta eat, you know. I can see it all. We'll throw a huge party and invite all Ratco's friends. Like who? You know, friends who are prepared to say they owe their success to a diet of beef. Sports rats, actresses, royalty even. We'll bust the world's press in and photograph our celebrities munching happily on wholesome steaks from cattle lovingly reared at Redlands. And all thanks to the generosity and vision of Mr. Radalioni. I like it. I like it. I'll get my boys on it right away. This market is terrific. I'm really glad we stopped off in Manaus. Let's find no how a present. A souvenir, you know, something typically Brazilian. I vote we look for some typically Brazilian lunch first. Well, there's certainly enough to choose from. Just look at all the delicious fruit and vegetables. Yes, but look at all those caged birds and animals. Poor things. They look so unhappy, don't they? All except this little monkey here. He's having a whale of a time. Hey, little fella, you look happy. Happy? I'm only doing his acrobatics to stop myself from going crazy. Ah, woo, woo, woo. Uh, that's better. I get a bit twitchy when I'm not getting enough exercise. How'd you end up in there? I was trapped by rats. As you can see, there's quite a trade in wildlife in this part of the world. What sort of monkey are you? I'm a black-headed Yuakari. Winston's the name. I don't think I've ever seen a Yuakari before. Hardly anyone has. We live way up on the topmost branches of the rainforest trees. But if you live right up there, how did the rats manage to capture you? Simple. They got the trees down. No disrespect. But why would anyone want to buy a monkey like you? As a pet? Possibly. I've heard around here they also eat monkeys. That's terrible! Isn't there anything we can do? I think I might have an idea. Listen. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend that we're Oh, please, please! Buy him for me! He's so cute! No, no, no. I'm not paying good money for a monkey that cannot do tricks. You don't know that he can't? Looks like a lazy good-for-nothing to me. 
May I be of some assistance? Good morning, Mr. Stallholder, sir. My good friends here would like to know if this monkey can do tricks. Do tricks? Try and stop him. He's a regular little acrobat. Then why is he lying around doing nothing? Ah, it's his coffee break. This sweet little guy is exactly the pet I'm looking for. But we must be sure if he can do tricks. I give you my word, sir. This is the most talented you Akari has ever been my privilege to detain behind bars. <laughs> then show us. Get him out of the cage and make him do some tricks. Yeah, what a clever idea, sir. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Yeah. Yeah. Are you? Listen, you hairy little hoodlum. Unless you want to end up as a monkey burger, I suggest you show these nice customers how clever you are. How's this for size? <gasps> Let's get out of here. All clear. No one seems to be following us. I wish we could have done more. Sounds like the Yuakaris could do with our help. But we haven't had anything to eat yet. Okay, okay. I'll tell you what, Slowly. Why don't you pop into that cake shop over there and buy us something really wicked? Well, if you insist. <laughs> we better get back to Ai Ai. She must be finished at the hairdressers by now. You catch us up. Shh. Winston! Are you all right? Fine, thank you. You saved my life back there. Think nothing of it. I wish we could stay and help all you Yuakaris fight, Ratko. You'd be wasting your time. Our days are numbered. If Ratko goes on destroying the rainforest at this rate, they'll wipe us all out. It's hopeless. Don't talk like that. You mustn't give up the fight. That's just what Ratlioni is banking on. Well, what can we do? You gotta tell the world what Ratko's doing to the Yuakaris. Speak up for yourself. Well, listen to me. I'm just a monkey nobody's ever heard of. And they never will hear of you if you don't make a protest. <laughs> it's no good, I tell you. We're finished. That's the most defeatist thing I've ever heard. You gotta think positive, Winston. You're right. Of course you are. Hey, and, you! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Shovel. This way, quick! Don't use the sidewalk, will you? That's for rats with <laughs> brains. Go away, he's not ready yet. Pardon me? This is a very big cake. It sure is. The biggest I ever saw. I told your boss I'd never finish it in time. My boss? Signor Rattaglione, hasn't he sent you to collect the cake? No, I just came in for a jelly donut. There it is. But it ain't finished yet. I told you it had to be uh, ready for today! Uh, I'm a work as fast as I can. My cakes are a work of art. I can't just knock one out in a few hours. Mr. Rattleone will knock you out if it ain't ready in time for the party. You do realize that the opening of our new cattle ranch is going to be a media event. Yeah, we're having a big party. And this gateau is meant to be the centerpiece of the whole shindig. You got 20 minutes. Lucky for you, we got our other shopping to do. Hey, Winston! I thought you'd be on your way back to the rainforest by now. I'm not going home yet. Your friends made me realize there's more important work for me to do here. What sort of work? I gotta let the world know about the plight of the Yuakaris. What I need is publicity. Perhaps you should throw a party, like Mr. Rattleone. Ratlion is having a party? Sure, for the opening of his cattle ranch today. He's invited the, uh, what do you call him? The media. Really? Caramba, it's huge! And it tastes so good! Come on. What are you gonna do? Hide inside the cake, of course. But it's for the party at Ratlands. Exactly. Where I shall burst out of it and tell Amelia just what Ratlioni is doing to the rainforest. 
Are you sure that's a good idea? It's my big chance to get publicity. Think positive, your friend said. Now, mm. put the top back on, quick. Good luck, Winston. Thanks a lot, Foley. I thought he was just gonna buy a cake. He's been gone long enough to bake one. Here he comes! Come on, slowly. Move it. Just a second. There, there's something I've got to tell you. No time to chat now. We're way behind schedule. On board, quick. But... Hey, look what those rats are up to down there. That's some cake. I wonder who's having a party. Mr. Ratlioni. Who got to his party? Oh, Winston, the one. Winston? That's what I've been trying to tell you. He's hiding inside that cake. Huh? Could someone tell me where the dickens you are? There's a tricky situation brewing in Brazil. Yeah, we know. I've just read in my newspaper that Rattelioni is up to his old tricks. You won't believe this. He's only opening a new cattle ranch down there. What he's doing is particularly detrimental because the land will be worn out and useless within a few years. Then he'll have to cut down more trees to create yet more land for cattle, and the whole cycle of deforestation will begin over again. And then there's the effect it has on wildlife. There's a very rare breed of monkey living down there, you know. Yes, the black-headed Yuakari. Now ah. pay attention. I want you to get down to this ranch. There's no time to lose. No how certainly got the bit between his teeth. And with reason. Look down there. That must be Ratland. Put us down, Aye Aye. Up and down, up and down, like a yo-yo. My hair will be ruined. Uh, oh. 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 This just isn't my day. Did you get the feeling that he knew he was being watched? Do you get the feeling that we're being watched? This is spooky. What are they? Hi, guys. What are you doing here? We're here to help. Why are you here to cut down more trees? Whatever gave you that idea? You've already started. Just look at the mess that the fat ones made. I'm not staying here to be insulted. I'm off. But I, I, you mustn't go yet. We've got to save Winston. Winston? What about Winston? Is he still alive? Where is he, you monkey snatcher? If you'd stop calling people names for a moment, we might have a chance to explain. Listen, why don't I tell you the whole story? <laughs> to me, he look out. Oh, up a bit. Oh. Down a bit, airhead. I got it. So you see, Winston could be in great danger. That boy always was hot headed. What are you going to do? Well, we need to get into Ratlands for a start. How are we going to do that? It's sure to be buzzing with rats. And don't forget the uh, media. I don't see how we could possibly get up to the house without being seen. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? We smuggle ourselves in on the back of that bus. Great idea. What should we do? You could try talking to those cattle, see if you can get them to help. What about me? Or am I too fat to be included? We'll call you when we need you! You can call all you want. I may be otherwise engaged. Doing what? Dieting. <laughs> Senhora 
with us? Mind if I have a quiet word? What do you want? I don't mean to alarm you, but do you ever wonder what life has in store for you? What are you? Some kind of insurance salesman? I mean, do you have any idea what happens to guys like you in a place like this? Do you think we're stupid? We know we're gonna end up as hamburgers, but what can we do? Plenty. Listen. Our chance. <laughs> Gets you right here, don't it? When I look around this room, I feel one proud rat. Proud to know that my little farmyard here is helping to give a hungry world a decent meal once in a while. <laughs> in the past, Ratko has not been without its critics. Shame! Yeah. But they have been crushed! <coughs> I mean, uh, uh, I could have been crushed by their hurtful remarks. But, in all humility, I ask you what is more important, feeding a roast beef dinner to your family, or letting a few dumb animals starve? And so, I say to you, my fellow rats, ask not what you can do for the rainforest, rather what the rainforest can do for me. I mean you, me you. I declare Ratlands well and truly open. The first of many cattle ranches. One small step for Ratko, one giant leap for me. Ratkind, Ratkind. Save the Yuagaris. What the heck is that? Ratko is ruining the rainforest. Oh, well, don't just stand there. Get him. Yuagaris of the world unite. Shut him up. Preserve the green trees, protect the Yuakaris. Preserve the green trees, protect the Yuakaris. We need some help. No, stop help us, please. Get him. Bombs, not the hamburgers. Get him outside and deal with him. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> That's the cabaret over for now, folks. Uh, uh, eat, drink, and enjoy. Yeah, just enjoy yourselves. Oh, that's it. Let's keep an eye on. Here come the rats. You're for the barbecue, you pathetic primate. <laughs> Do your worst. My protest was photographed in there. It's all on record. Hey, guys, look what I got. Say cheese. <laughs> but those are the rest cameras. Exactly. Look at this. Every picture overexposed. Geronimo! I wish you'd warned me there was all this hay around. You know I get hay fever.
Wow, thank heavens no one got hurt. All the animals are safe. I don't know how to thank you guys. We never would have done it without you. Don't thank us. You did it all yourselves. I'm proud of you, Winston. I suppose hiding in the cake was a bit of a crackpot idea, really. But it turned out okay in the end. It was you guys who showed me what you can achieve just by sticking up for yourself. Well, just make sure you remember it from now on. What will you all do now? We'll go back to our homes in the trees that are left and just hope that new ones will grow here someday. But it won't be in our lifetime. Once you cut trees down, it takes years for them to grow again. Come on, Winston. No more of that sort of talk. Let's get out of here before this tropical rainstorm completely ruins my new hairdo. Hey, come on, bamboo bears. Oh, you take it easy now. Think positive. Uh, oh, thanks a lot. Bye.